go, a Frostpunk official gameplay trailer came out. Uh, Frostpunk 2, to be specific. I said quite a while back that I was really interested in Frostpunk. Uh, I played the first Frostpunk. It was a lot of fun. Frostpunk 2 is on its way out. I would like to watch this. Let's see what we got. By union, the smallest states thrive. By discord, the greatest are destroyed. Honorable Stuart. Stuart! Stuart. Oh, my dear Stuart. Do you hear us, Stuart? Do you hear us? Stuart, are you listening? Stuart? The great storm wiped the world clean. Let's take it back. But how? The steward will choose our path. Steward, build us a better home. A home for everyone. Dude, Steward's steward, gonna go crazy. All these people like bothering him. So many things. People are starving. More people, more mouths to feed. They treat us like animals, left to suffocate. We need a place to work. Who else will feed our families? Steward, this smaller will Can we all receive equal rations? Hospitals are not a place for experiments. Free education for <laughs> our children. Secure and stable growth. City for the citizens. Steward, hear your people. We want a say in how we run the city. The time of tyranny has ended. Our delegates will make sure of that. Let them vote. Yes, vote. Steward. Do you hear us? Steward. Steward. What about us? What? Impossible. All rejected. Bro, I'm stressed Stuart? just watching this. Did you hear that? The city. The city must not fall. The city must not fall. Yo, I am stressed out just watching this trailer. <laughs> like, the first game had, like, the little pop-ups that you would read. Uh, like, oh, we don't have enough food. We can put sawdust in the food to expand, like, how much food we have to live a little bit longer. And uh, do you want to have child labor and stuff like that like there were little pop-ups but this is like so much more immersive this is freaking terrifying um the changing of the motto is actually an interesting idea the first games the city must survive encapsulated the feeling of being alone in the frozen wasteland that your survival was not guaranteed people needed hope to live another day resources are scarce uh and if you won't make any decision rash or otherwise you're guaranteed to be frozen and forgotten by everything in the nature gods themselves 30 years after the storm, the city is no longer trying to just exist. It needs to thrive. The old class divisions return as society is setting and getting set in place. The almost questionable world of the captain ends as people no longer are looking forward to survive, but also looking back at their way of life to try and see what can be improved and progress. However, not everyone has the same idea and divisions. Both wealth and ideological rise as new recourse shortage comes around. Coal. We now have to burn, turn to oil as else the city could and probably will freeze back to 30 years. And will still, there are many who reject the fact due to belief. The city is no longer a small surviving light in the waste. It is a state. It's no longer uh, must just survive for another day against the storm, but thrive and not fall to the division. The city must not fall. That is crazy. So I'm noticing these pipes here. I wonder if these are for heat. Because the city is so far like from the core. In the first game, you know, that you, you built uh, out from the core of the city, which is where the, the main heat was. Um... I'm wondering if the these things with all the the yellow lines, I'm wondering if those are like uh, pipes to move the heat around. Uh, I could be completely off. It could also be like electricity or something, but it seems to be connecting everything. And the main resource in the first game was heat, so I'm wondering if it's that. Um, you know, pop-ups like this do look familiar where you get like, you know, too many mouths to feed. What are you going to do? Um, and you've got, you know, different thing, ways that you can handle it, investigate the solution, handle the problem in another way, or disregard the issue entirely. Uh, people coming to you with lots of complaints. Um, uh, Ian Maktovich, 45 minor. This is interesting. I wonder if you can just, like, inspect any person, or if this is just, like, like someone crucial to, like, a quest or something like that. Now we can see Ian's information there. Oh, there, wait, there was another one there. Hold on a sec. Uh, let me unpause that. Uh, Eleanor Gilmore, 33, factory worker. Uh, hungry workers demand food. And Harold O'Sullivan, experimental treatment. Uh, 
Experimental treatment breeds resentment. Now, I notice the whole city is red here. I wonder what that could mean. Maybe, like, uh, there were moments in the first game when the cold got really bad, and you could turn up how much fuel you were burning, but it would turn up how uh, hot, uh, how much heat you were generating. Uh, so you could, like, turn the thing up really, really high, which was absolutely required to get through some of the worst cold snaps in the game. Um, I wonder if the red just means you've got the heat cranked really high, or maybe it's like a show of resentment. Maybe if your city is really upset with you, it like the it starts like just showing red just as like a visual indicator of what's going on. Um, that would be really interesting as well. Um, here's the city seen from above, and of course they all start from that central point, but after that you can design it how you will. Um, again, there's the the red. Uh, Say, so steward here your people. So technocrats protest efficiency bounties, agree to their demands, or wait them out. So we've got like a riot happening right here, or people on strike. Uh, we want to say in how we run the city. Let's see, a law proposal. So there's a place here we could pass laws. So you could try to negotiate with them or vote on it, but if you vote, you no idea if you're going to get your way or not until it's done. I assume if you hit the vote button, you have to go with whatever they vote on. Um, this is a really cool cinematic as well i assume the glowing ones voted for one side and the people that are dark voted for like against it and then you know people saying the city must not fall but dude uh, i will say in terms of just like ambiance oh my god the uh <laughs> all the people street steward 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 like yeah, I, I got stressed just watching this. Like, going from just, like, reading it in text to this was uh, quite the step. And they, they seem to be making it work. But, yeah, that is the Frostpunk 2 official gameplay trailer. Still lots of gameplay we have yet to see. Uh, it showed, you know, a little bit of this, like, right here. They sort of showed building as they, you know, really quickly dropped these down. But there's, you know, the devil's in the details. There's lots of details that we don't yet know. But this looks awesome. I'm still hyped for it. And uh, yeah, the, you know, the, the link to the official video will be uh, down below.